this is Sickle Yield, and I'm here to show you some features of the new RSSY 3 Delight and IRA 2 Filament Converter by Riversoft Art and me, Sickle Yield. Here we have a scene from DM's Capel, sold at Daz 3D. This scene is loaded entirely as is. As you see it here, I have changed nothing. You can see that with the filament draw style on, it is very whited out. The lighting is very flat and bland and a little bit overly bright. So I'm going to go up here to Scripts in the Riversoft Art folder. And then there's another folder here called RSSY 3 Delight and iRay 2 Filament. Here you'll find our manual and you will also find the script itself. So I'm going to click on that. And here we have a number of options. Under materials, you can have it scan, find all the materials in your scene, find matches. Make sure you click overwrite matches, but don't click except just yet. This ensures that filament shader updates happen that avoid some common problems with materials converted from iRay and 3D Lite. But you can also, and this is an amazing feature, under the options, there is a live preview and a filament preview. And this lets you see exactly what the lighting of your scene will look like. Not only that, but you can drag these sliders, this is the point light multiplier, and make your scene lights dimmer or brighter according to your needs. You can see that there's a spotlight multiplier. I've just turned the spotlight down and back up again and a ray length modifier, which makes the length of the rays the spotlight has shorter or longer. There is also a flame multiplier because another fun thing the script does is if there are lights in your scene that do not have a point light over them, it will in many cases add them if they have fire or flame or candle, etc. in the name. This also turns down the environment intensity by quite a lot here you can see, if I turn that back up, you get that whited out look again. So we've turned the HDR down to around 9%. There's also a button here that called Add Hair Cap, and that determines whether a hair cap is added to your scene to Genesis 8 figures. This is necessary if you're using a hair that has many layers of transparency. Filament tends to have a problem with that. so. This lets you add a hair cap so that the scalp of your characters will not disappear. These are the lovely features of our script. Scripting by Riversoft Art. And shader work and by me. And here I've clicked accept and you can see the script is running. It's going to take a minute because there are a lot of materials to go through. So I'm going to cut right here. Here is our converted scene. As you can see, there is a bit of a blank space back there because at this time the HDR is invisible. So I'm going to add a different HDR that is meant to show up in the background from my smart content and render settings. And instead I'm going to go to Skies of Irradiance and the Nighttime G preset here. There we go. And then I will actually run the script a second time. And now you can see the lights are very, very bright. And I really just want to update the environment here, so I'm actually going to uncheck the lighting options in this case. So that it keeps the lighting that I had before, but now it updates the background HDR. And then I can tweak that environment up or down as I like to get that nice deep black look in my deep background the way that I want. And then I can also make sure that I have not checked overwrite matches here. And then I will click accept and it will run pretty quickly to update my scene but it won't overwrite the lighting that I already have because on the second run I unchecked those options. And with Riversoft Art's flexible interface, 
that is something that should be very easy to do. Now I will also demonstrate the ghost light feature. A ghost light is just a mesh light with a very low opacity. So here I've added a plane to this scene right here. It doesn't really show up because it's invisible. I've set the opacity to zero, but it does have an emission color and it does have luminance. So what happens is that when I run the script with this ghost light in the scene, there we go, it'll replace it with a point light, which you can see here is just ludicrously over bright. So I can drag down the ghost multiplier, there we go, until I get a value that I like. I actually want it to be maybe a little less bright than the original. There we go. Now I can click accept. And here you can see that a point light has been added to the scene where the ghost light was. So that when it's rendered in filament, the effect of the ghost light is there, even though filament itself cannot see ghost lights. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your hopefully purchase of our product and happy rendering.